three people is gonna vying for that priority in the mid. Mm -hmm. And for GK, um, it's quite difficult for them to do that. So um, in the first minutes, maybe DRG GK is gonna play defensively. So that's gonna be XYG's time to do something in the early game. All right. XYG is gonna take the blue. Boshan DRG GK is gonna take the red. Ladies and gentlemen, quarterfinals, game two. Let's see what we got. It's gonna be only Limon in mid, in mid lane. That's gonna put slow him down a little bit more. Look at just Lumber's rotation. Yeah. Straight up to the top. They know that their key to win this game is right over here on top lane. So Lumber needs to make sure that he can gain the vision control from the upper river. Whoa. Stumble away from that cage. I would look bad. Look at that Kushi being surrounded by four people, but they don't have the damage yet. Exactly. And since Kushi is playing this Xia Houdun, so he don't need to be that worried about those damage yep. out in at the early least, game. At least not yet, right? Yeah. Not yet. Like, he can just go around and just do, do whatever that he wants. Mm. So actually, you know, the first rotation that the RGG team made mm -hmm. just helped them to cover the first engagement that XYG wants to do. Oh, guy taking extremely low. He's gonna have to go back to base, so unless that he wants to take that. No, he nah. don't want. If I should have said, I'm gonna be the yeah. <laughs> September comes in, already on air. It's just gonna come in a clean wave. Keep moving around. Yeah. One minute and 45 seconds. Very, very passive from both teams, right? Like both of them being extremely cautious. Yeah. From XYG, it's basically because Narkuru on the upper side of the map, he mm -hmm. needs time to farm up. So he wants to try to engage. But check the bottom lane. <laughs> Show those being like, really, ooh. Nice one. Nice one. Good steal from there. Mm. By show rotating to mid. Yeah, that's the regular way of playing this macho composition. So that's something actually I'm quite worried about. Oh, look at that. Team Fun is being put on air. He's going to have to flash out of that battle. And taking this spirit camp away. Mm. It is important just for them to take those little objectives, right? Exactly. And um, for their opponents, um, Jungler, this Agudo, though um, this hero might not be those core players, but mm -hmm. this hero relies a lot on those monsters he yes, has. Exactly. It's not going to be that. Re that it's not going to be that dependent on red buff or blue buff, right? But this little like the firehawk, the bears, the lizards, and the cheetahs are important for Pom Pom. Yeah, because the damage dealt and the control that he can dealt relies a lot on those numbers, numbers yeah. of those monsters. Kushi runs away. Pom Pom procked his ult. Not an ultimate available her in mid lane. And Siho already in level four. Mm -hmm. Both teams are waiting. Waiting for what? For XYG, they're waiting for Nakuru. And on the other side, for GK, they're waiting for Machop. At least two items need to be built off. I just love the way that the both of them are, they do not want any mistakes. No mistakes are, are gonna be available in here. Like, they do not want to give an upper hand for their opponent. Yeah, again, we're now in quarterfinals. Everyone lost one game. They're gonna be eliminated. Mm. Could be one over there in bottom lane. September just jungling around, just taking all gold. 2,600 already for Nakoruru. That's quite high. And um, on the other side, we don't need to check Agudo's gold difference. Uh, we need to check Macho. Yeah, exactly. Agudo in here is not gonna, it's not gonna be a core, a core hero. Yeah. And he knows that. Kusia taking damage from both sides. Comes back, he's going to proc his ultimate his ability. Um, actually, GK wants to poking down some um, HP bar from Kusia. Oh, nice one. All right, Siho is going to use the wild blood. Going to be pushing back the whole DRGGK. 
but things nothing actually happened mm -hmm. from this engagement so that might be waste of the mm -hmm. ultimate well the bottom lane fell the and they still have their top yeah so it was not drgk was unable just to come in and then trade turrets right mm. so at least in terms of that yeah, i'm fine with it <laughs> i can I, I can live with that four people rotation to top Oh, look at that. Siuto being taken oh. on air. Extremely low. He's going to fall. It's going to be first blood for Agutu. A frozen down. He's going to be see how he's going to fall as well. It's great now. 2 0 for DRGGK. And um, Baishu is still chasing, but it seems like it's going to be a little bit difficult to take Kuxia down. But after all, this is a 0 2 trade. And GK just win the upper hand. They can use this medium wave to oh. take down this main tower in five minutes. Horrible, horrible, horrible Red situation for XYG, tower. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. They did not want to lose their mid lane turret that quickly. That's going to put a lot of pressure on September. Look at how this happened. Suto jumps in extremely deep. The fact that he jumps in in between and he hits the wall surrounds him easily. Yeah, and you can see actually XYG just being tear up yep. by GK and the second ability and ultimate down by this Zhao Jin played a crucial role in that engagement. He stepped in too deep. You cannot just jump in like that. <laughs> Remember, you're a core here in this whole composition. See if I'm put on air. Trying to engage but just forced GK to return back. So actually we can get a quick review yeah. in like the previous five minutes. It's basically because of out of that ultimate with Zhang Fei. He tried to use the ultimate to guard the top tower, you remember? Yeah. But that also means he's going to be quite weak to engage. And that's the reason why actually XYG just being quite um, a little bit reckless. They wanted just to start snowballing in there. I understand the need to snowball. But they bet against it, they gambled, and they lost their mid lane turret. Yeah. Now, right now, for that, for that Suto, it's going to be really difficult for him to try to rotate right now. Mm. Siko is going to have to be with Suto all the time if they want to, him to survive in those rotations. Mm. He cannot be ganked anymore. Well, um, as we've mentioned about this mid tower, um, mm -hmm. actually, you know, thanks to XYG's two frontliners, both Zhang Fei and Xiao Hodun, is quite solid. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be a. It, it won't be a problem now. Why? Okay. Uh, after, like, Mark Polo built up his Doomsday, that's going to be the problem. Yeah, exactly. Doomsday is going to be an incredibly uh, necessary item for Marco Polo. He decided to go first with Spark Forge Dagger. Um, still building, needs a little bit more at Mongland right now. His Doomsday, as we were just talking, it's online. Yeah, so with this Doomsday, that allowed Marco Bull to constantly do that poking damage on your front laner. Look at that. Oh. Why should I know he comes in from the back? It's going to be September, the one that's going to take the kill on Team Fong. This is a such nice that's position, timing that September just sees, you know. Dash in and mm -hmm. got an insta kill, take down Simpo. And without this Zhao actually GK is going to be quite weak during those um, big, big team fights. Yeah, without the, without Simfong, with the utility mm -hmm. that Simfong is going to be, right? Yeah. Look at the, the angle where my Shiranui was. Comes in, cuts in, then, okay, Simfong flashes away, but September is the one that takes the kill. So you can see like those synergies between their jungler and the mid. Yeah. Limo first out the flash from Xinfong and that's exactly the time for September just to dash Red in. Team has destroyed a tower. Good recovery for XYG. Mm. Leveling up a little bit the the gold difference, right? Yeah. And we can recheck the gold difference again for Mark Nark not Kuru. Mm -hmm. The next equipment is gonna be the Siege Breaker. Yep. After he done that, wow, Macho's gonna be a little bit afraid of Nakaru too, you know. Everyone's gonna be afraid yeah. of Nakaru. Axe of Torment and Siege Breaker, a great combo in terms of burst attack. damage, right? Like you want, you want that Nakaru just to land on someone and that someone to disappear. That's the main goal. Yeah. After two items be built up, Nakaru's gonna be a totally weapon. You know? Quite explosive weapon. Rotation, look at the RGGK. 
coming in straight to the blue buff area, but taking they, control of the resources. Yeah, but they're afraid to, you know, to step forward or going too deep into their opponent's side. And they don't have to. Mm. They do not have to. Look at that pump and being surrounded by three people, but it's going to be Agai, the one that's going to jump in to save his life. And check Limon, the second ability, just targeted at Qingfo, and another flash with the first ability, but Khan may Oh kill. no, Monglan jumps in but hits the wall, he's going to slow him down, push him back, but it's going to be Xia Odun, the one that is going to fall. Wow, though GK used a, like a huge amount of those abilities, but due to this complicated land form, they just, you know, used it wisely and won this thing by it. I find this whole engage, mm -hmm. just the way that everyone was trading in there. Yeah, it, was, it was not the finest from both teams. Yeah. It was not the finest for sure. Like an, here, Team Funk created use of the second ability. Jumps away, look at Monglan. In the moment that he wants to proc his ult, he hits the wall right over there. He's extremely far away. Yeah. Trying to survive clearly, but hmm, sad for him. And the most crucial part gonna be the the ultimate done by Zhao Jun. Yes. To block away all those enemies. So actually, like just like what you said, you can feel the tension and desire, you know, hiding inside from both of the team. But that's gonna be the problem. They both need to be more careful. Yeah. You see, at the end of, at the end of the day, it's not a matter of being extremely cautious and just yeah. being passive. It's not a matter of being passive. It's just a matter of being decisive. Yeah. That's what we mean by, for being cautious. You need to be decisive, jump in with an idea and stick to that. The blue buff is going to be for Pom Pom. The RGK, they really try to snowball the game. You can see, actually they want to use those team fire or whatever. They try to snowball it, but actually just respond in a quite nice way. It's already 12 minutes. But still even go! At the pace, at the pace that we're playing, mm -hmm. it's going to come down to the Tempest Dragon. Uh -huh. I don't see right now anyone being decisive enough to create an, a play just to slow, just completely obliterate the other side. Mm. We're seeing this kind of trading, imagine that. Comes in, Frog's ultimate, but just needs to push back. These kind of situations are going to keep happening again and again and again. Mm -hmm. Now, XYG does not have the vision. They just need to be able to protect their high ground and they'll be able to make it to Tempest Dragon. Yeah. Look at that. Kusia jumps in. He's been taken extremely low. Ooh. He uses his flash, puts three people on air. He's going to be pumped for the one that is going to fall. Bonland still has a great angle, still dealing damage. Does not want to turn around. He knows he's got the upper hand. Suto replies back and he's going to stop everything as a 2 1 trade for DRGGK. Vai Show find out this immediate way to the grid <laughs> and it just take this tower for free. This totally free, <laughs> look at that. Well, look, he comes in, right? Like yeah. the way that Kushie uses his flash there, well, uses his ability, flash, puts three people on air. Now the damage comes in, Agutu is the one falling. September follows in, and look at Paisho. Wow. Sadly, for, sadly for us, we couldn't see it on that replay, but Paisho just literally just left the fight <laughs> and went to take the minion. Yeah, he just spot yep. that kind of minion was on those minion map instantly and change his direction and take down this mid tower for free. This high ground tower matters a lot, you know. Usually people would, you know, spend a lot of time or effort trying to take the high ground tower down, but by show just find the right moment and take it for free. And that's exactly what we were talking about, right? Like mm. if, they, if X what you wanted to force this to a Tempest Dragon, and they needed to protect their high ground. Yeah. And that opening in there might be bad news. Look at that, September trying to find the place to jump in. See who's gonna have to try to proc his ult, slow down and re-aggro the dragon. Mm. Well, GK, actually, they don't want to take down this Shadow Tyrant. On the other hand, they just trying to use it to force you to come and fight. And once they spot that Narc Rouge on the upper side of the map, they just take Dark it down. Has been defeated. Already a 1,500, almost 2,000 gold lead for Poshan DRGGK. Mm -hmm.
they, if they're smart right now, they can just come up with all five people to start this dragon. The problem is that it's going to be slow. Yeah. It's not going to be as fast as if they wouldn't have already the buff from the Dark Tyrant. Because they've got an debuff after they take down that um, Shadow Tyrant. Yeah, the debuff, not even with a debuff, slow them down. Very decisive. Came in four people, one person taking the vision. We're able to completely control this. By show is going to show up in bottom, and that's going to be XYG's right now decision what they want to do about that. Well, XYG is still waiting for Jumpy's ultimate being available. That's mm -hmm. going to be the point if they want to engage. You can see actually there's some layers when they are doing that kind yeah. of to big team fight. They rely a lot on the ultimate provided by Zhang Fei and just plus with Ku Xie's first ability and that flash. Well, actually I want to highlight two person from XYG. We just need to keep focusing on Mai Shilinui and also Nakuru. Yeah. These two assassins, if they find a nice spot, dash in and take down Zhao Jun or just shred down the HP bar from Bai Shou or Mulan, that's gonna be the most important thing, factor, if they want to win the engagement. Yeah, I agree with you on the fact that the two of them are gonna be critical, right? For me, it's going to be about like how to get Monglan out. Because they cannot take Monglands and by shows damage at the same time. Exactly. That's for that's for sure. Yeah. They might Destroy be able to solve one of them, mm. but taking both of them on a face to face, that's head 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 on fight, that's not gonna happen. Yeah. And another thing worth mentioning is because both of the, those assassins, they need to get to that spot attack. But now they're keeping what keep watching bye bye show. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. <laughs> September spotted by showing there takes his HP bar down to half. Now it's gonna be the turret, the one that is gonna be taken to one third, one fourth, one fifth, and That's it's going to take down to zero. Bottom is the only turret that is still stepping in there, standing for XYG. Well, I I think I can read those strategies that XYG wants to execute because it seems like they want to win fight and then just to snowball or earn some resources. So yeah, actually, look at the that. high ground tower is being given up quite easily, right? Nothing that they could have done. Like when you have Pompon -Pom that can use his ultimate just to de deviate, just to completely take away the damage from the turret. It's oh, very difficult for them to stand. This is not good. Assassin sound good and it's gonna be by show the one that is gonna come in first taking the first kill September is gonna hunt for Team Pong. Oh. And now he's the one that is gonna be hunted down by so many people from DRGGK. It's gonna be September that's gonna fall. Five against three right now. Resurrection is gonna be brought on and he's gonna come in and he's gonna survive. Look at that. One, two, three. Siuto is going to revive coming in one more time to be surrounded by DRGGK. The minions are on the way. It's going to be an ace. It's going to be DRGGK, the one that they're going to take this first game. There's still four people remaining from DRGGK side from such an intensive pace. Crystal been taken down. First game. Congratulations to DRGGK.